Okay, guys, everyone, pay attention, face up and bow. Okay, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is sparring session number two. Um, if you haven't done the first sparring session, I recommend doing that one first because we're going to be doing some things today that uh, we did in the previous session. So it's going to be a little tough to, to pick that up, so definitely go back. Um, let's do a quick warm up here. Uh, we're going to be kicking a lot more today, so I want to make sure you guys have your legs warmed up. Okay, let's do our 20 jumping jacks. Let's jump together and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, let's go ahead and turn and just twist side to side. Do about ten of these. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's go ahead and do hip rotations. We'll do ten in each direction. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, knee rotations. Feet together. Ten in each direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ankle rotations. Ten in each direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do twenty calf. Raises. Okay, ready? One, two, come all the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's head to the wall and finish up here, guys. Okay, so let's get those hips loosened up here. Put your hand against the wall. I'm gonna put my right hand, which means I'm gonna be doing my right leg. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing that leg forwards and back in one continuous motion. I'm not stopping and putting my foot on the floor. Okay, let's do 10 of these on each leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, switch feet. Okay, and remember, you're going to use the leg that is closest to the wall. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, with the sparring uh, sessions, I really recommend having a partner. You know, we're going to start off by doing some solo drills, so you can practice those. If you don't have a partner, it's going to make this a little tougher. You can still do it. You know, you can do more of a shadow boxing uh, session, but having a partner will help you out. That partner doesn't have to know martial arts. You know, if this is your sibling, mom or dad, they can come out, be your partner, do the best they can to, you know, uh, to do the drills that we're, we're practicing. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start off by doing a little shadow boxing um, using some of the techniques that we worked on uh, in our previous sparring session. Okay, so we're going to start in that fighting stance. So the first move we're going to do is simply a check. Okay, a check basically means we're just going to bring that knee up and go ahead and block. Okay, we're blocking a, an incoming kick. Now, um, when you do this, you want to bring the knee up. Okay, you want to avoid coming down. That's a common mistake we'll see, is that people kind of hunch down like that. 
work on simply bringing that knee up. And I bring that knee all the way up to the elbow, okay? So let's just practice that a few times. We're in our stance, we're gonna go ahead and check, bring that knee up and return. Again, check and return. Now when you bring that knee up, you actually wanna turn the knee out slightly, okay? So if I bring it straight forwards, you know, my opponent can still hit me here. If I bring that knee out to the side, that cuts off the angle of their kick. So right here, you know, I can still be hit. But if I bring that check up and out to the side slightly, that prevents that roundhouse kick from, from hitting me in the body, okay? Um, a couple more. So again, we're gonna check. Look at that knee is slightly out to the side. And again, we're gonna check. Okay, so let's put this together in a combination now, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check, land, jab, and then we're gonna throw a rear leg roundhouse with a 180 degree spin. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, by turning 180 degrees, it does a couple of things. Number one, it teaches you to follow through with your kick, okay? Instead of kind of hitting and coming back where you're not putting your full power. And it takes the pressure off your knee, okay? So from here, we're gonna throw that roundhouse kick, okay? Kick, turn 180 degrees. Okay, I haven't switched my stance. I'm still right leg back, okay? But it, I followed through on that kick, you know, and I, I took that pressure off my knee. So if we do the same thing from this side, okay, check, land, jab, okay, rear leg roundhouse kick, spin 180 degrees. So now we're facing the opposite direction, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys also what we're doing with our arms. Our arms are really important in this drill, okay? Um, not only to, to throw the kick stronger, but to protect us as we're throwing that kick. Okay, if you don't throw the kick properly, you can be really uh, vulnerable to, to uh, an attack, okay? So check, land, jab. Now what I'm gonna do before I even kick, I'm gonna bring my right arm across. Okay, we call this a Dracula guard. If you guys know about Dracula, he brings that cape up like so. Now I'm gonna imagine that I have sweat and I'm gonna throw it at my opponent as I kick, so I bring that hand up, okay, look where this left hand is. As I kick, I'm going to whoosh, throw that sweat, okay, towards my opponent, and now I'm facing the, diff uh, the opposite direction. Okay, so let me show you guys that again, okay? So again, from right here, check, land, jab. Dracula guard, and we're gonna, as we kick, throw that sweat, towards our opponent, and we're facing the opposite direction. Okay, let me show you guys again. Okay, check, land, jab, Dracula guard, roundhouse, and pivot 180 degrees, okay? Let me show you guys a few more times, then you're gonna practice this on your own for a few minutes, okay? Check, land, jab, Dracula, okay, kick, Spin 180 degrees. Okay, hopefully I broke that down enough for you guys. You can practice. Um, hit pause, practice that for about five minutes, okay? Um, you know, you really wanna make this, uh, you know, flow, because we're gonna be doing this with a partner here in a few minutes. Okay, get going on that. Okay, so now we're gonna do this with a partner. Okay, so if you guys have your gear, get your gear on. Um, if you're practicing with a partner who doesn't have gear, that's fine, this means you're gonna go a little slower, you know, really be cautious. If neither of you have gear, you can still do this, but obviously you're gonna go even slower um, and be careful, okay? So if you remember that last drill we just did, um, uh, we're gonna combine that with some of the drills we did in the previous session. Okay, if you remember our pillar defense against that jab, so I'm gonna attack uh, Mr. Badhill here. He's gonna start with that pillar defense um, against my jab. So notice how I step in, okay? Remember that six count uh, footwork? Um, you know, that's the first move. Okay, then from here, I'm gonna throw that roundhouse kick. I Dracula guard, okay? And I wanna pivot, throw that roundhouse kick, okay? And come back. And the reason I'm throwing that uh, Dracula guard here is if I just go ahead and, you know, jab and I hit, see how open my face was? You know, from right here, my face is totally open, okay? But if I do this Dracula guard and I kick, okay, there wasn't an opening there, okay? So what's gonna happen 
Because you're going to do this three times against your partner. Okay, so I'm going to do it two more times, then it'll be his turn. So I come in, jab, round, and I'm landing back on this one. Okay, and again, one more time, jab, roundhouse kick. And again, if you don't have gear on, um, just go real slow on that, okay? Because knocking shins is not fun. Now it's my partner's turn. He's going to go, jab, roundhouse, and again, Okay, and I want to show you guys something. I explained this in the, the previous um, uh, drill about angling your check outward. Um, again, if I have that straight forward, so I'm going to see if we can show you this on camera. If I can have switch sides here real quick. If my leg is straight forward when that roundhouse kick comes in, notice how he's still catching me here. He's still hitting me. Okay, but if I angle that kick outwards, how that stops his kick. Okay, so make sure you angle that kick outwards. Let's show you guys this again. Okay, so I'm gonna do it three times. Okay, jab, round, landing back again. And back and and back. And my partner goes. Now, one thing that's really important on this is um, staying strong with your block, standing your ground. Okay, if I'm, um, you know, not really standing my ground, and he throws this kick a little harder, okay, when that kick comes in, he might knock me off balance. If I'm kind of leaning back a little bit, go ahead and throw it hard. It's okay, catch him, girl. There you go. See how he knocks me backwards? I really want to stand my ground. When that kick comes in, you know, I'm landing in front. I want to be displaced like that, okay? So you're going to practice this for five minutes. Um, hit pause. Um, and uh, again, just practice three for three with this. Okay, begin. So let's move on to our next drill. Okay, so we're going to work on setting up our, our lead leg roundhouse kick. Okay, also known as a shuffle roundhouse kick. Now, if you remember from the first sparring session that we did uh, a couple days ago, um, that six footwork combo, okay, um, the shuffle step. And again, if you guys haven't been through that, um, I recommend you go back and do that, okay? That, this will make a lot more sense to, uh, to you guys here. So we're gonna set up that lead leg round by using that shuffle step jab, okay? So we're actually gonna start jab step, okay? And then shuffle jab, okay? Notice how I, uh, I shuffle, I keep that jab up. And with this back leg that's behind me, I'm going to throw a roundhouse kick, and again, I'm going to land in front, spin through 180 degrees, and now I'm facing a different direction. Okay, we want to work on following through with that kick um, to, to uh, you know, train ourselves to follow through, get those hips, get those shoulders into the kick, get more power, and it just takes that pressure off your knee. Okay, so let me show you guys this from the back angle. Okay, jab step, okay, shuffle jab, now I'm going to throw this leg, I'm going to throw this kick out, land in front, and now I'm facing forwards again, okay? This may feel a little bit awkward, that's why I'm going to demo it a bunch of times so you guys can see. Um, let me give you guys a side view here, jab step, shuffle jab, I'm going to take that leg, I'm going to kick out, land behind, oh, I think I need a 360 degree spin on that one. <laughs> let me do it from this side. Jab step, shuffle jab, round, land, and step through. That's much better. Okay. Jab step, shuffle jab. I'm going to take that lead leg, round, land in front, and step through, like so. Okay, let me do a face and forwards again. Jab step, shuffle jab, round. And through, okay, I'll show you guys one more time here. Jab step, shuffle jab, round, and through. Okay, um, if you have a little difficulty understanding that, go back, rewatch this, but if you guys think you got it down, um, practice that for about three to five minutes, and then we're gonna move on to some partner drills. Okay, get going. Okay, so let's do this with a partner, and I realized that I forgot to go over one thing. I'm going to cover this real quick. 
Um, the way we're going to defend against this uh, roundhouse kick is with what's called a three-point block. Okay? Now your three-point block is basically, if you keep your arm up here, I have two points already. I'm blocking with the, the um, forearm and the upper arm. All I'm going to do is add in the other hand here, and those are the three points of a three-point block. One, two, three. And uh, the whole uh, goal behind a three-point block is you want to um, disperse that power over as much area as possible. You know, if I just block with my arm, all that power is hitting this one arm. If I block with two points, you know, now that power is cut in half. Okay, I'm absorbing it using two parts. If I had that third point, now it's cut into thirds, so it doesn't hurt nearly as much, okay? So if you think about one, two, and then have that other hand up, like so. Okay, we'll demonstrate this a few times. So, if we're doing this drill, I'm gonna start with that jab, he does the pillar block. Okay, now I want to make him think I'm throwing that other jab, okay? That's why I throw that jab step, and that disguises my switch. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to do that Dracula guard, I'm going to throw that kick, and then end up back, okay, my fighting stance. Um, so I'm going to do that three times, okay, um, jab step, shuffle, Dracula, kick, and I end up back in my fighting stance. Notice how I kind of fall back a little bit or fade back from that one more time, okay, jab, Dracula, Kick. Well, I think I forgot my shuffle jab. Let me try it one more time. Jab, shuffle jab, round, and back. Okay? Now my partner's going to go, so he's going to go jab, shuffle jab, roundhouse kick, three-point block. Look how I block the one, two, and I brought that other hand in here, like so. Okay? He's going to go again. Jab, shuffle jab, roundhouse. Okay? And, you know, I want to get used to blocking that. You know, there are times where you want to back away. There's times where you just want to stay in, um, you know, not back up and block that attack. Let's do it one more time. Okay, I'm going to go again. Okay, jab, shuffle, jab, round. Okay, again. Jab, shuffle, jab, round. And one more time. Jab, shuffle, jab, round. And my partner goes, jab, shuffle, jab, round. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Okay, let me show you guys one time facing the camera here. That's what I'm doing. Step jab, shuffle jab, roundhouse. Okay, so you're going to practice this um, uh, about three to five minutes with your partner. Uh, don't worry if you're not going as fast as us or if you're missing little details. Um, you know, every time you practice this, you're going to get a little bit better. You're going to pick different things up. Okay, get going on that.